let's set up a little bit of a seed experiment. Um, you'll need a Ziploc bag. I use the sandwich size. Paper towel that's been made just a little wet and folded up. I'm choosing three lima bean seeds, but three seeds of any kind that you might have in the house. Maybe popcorn seeds from a package that you have there would be fine, and a stapler. First, we're going to take the wet paper towel. The water is needed for, to activate the seeds and tell them, hey, it's springtime, time to get up. And that's why we have so many rains in the spring, and that's why the things green up and come out of the ground as soon as it's there. We're going to put that inside of our Ziploc bag at the bottom. Now I'm going to flatten my baggie a little bit. My stapler is important because it keeps the seeds from lying right on the water of the paper toweling because that might cause them to have some molding effects. So I'm just going to staple right across my Ziploc bag, keeping them from going and falling down into the paper toweling. Kind of making our own little greenhouse for them. And then I'm going to drop my three little seeds across here. And I'm going to zip it shut. Now, I don't want to take all the air out, but it doesn't have to be puffed with tons of air. But there's some air still inside. So, if I leave it sitting this way, it will begin to grow when it gets warm. Or will it grow if it's cold? Hmm, I wonder. Well, to find out, you could just simply make more than one. Put one in the refrigerator and one in a warm, sunny spot. What if it's, what if it's warm and dark? Hmm, like a closet. I wonder. Now's the time to check and see. That's what this experiment is about, is to see what makes that seed grow, because you know you put them in the ground. But do they have to be in the ground? There's no dirt here. What will make it grow? How's that going to happen? Hmm, I guess it's time to watch and see.